Hey guys, it's me, April, and I am the Wolf Ranch Girl. Welcome back to my channel. And this time we are in my kitchen. So I was going back looking through um, some of my past videos. Aside from the Easter basket, the one that the second one that had the highest views was the one about the what's in my lug backpack. So I thought, well, that was like in 2020. Um, so maybe you guys are wondering if I still have it or what the condition is that it's in. Um, so that's what we're going to be going over today is what's in my backpack. I did um, take some notes here and so you'll see me looking down occasionally um, to just get some correct information on my notes. Um, first of all, the past video was on the Lug Via Tote convertible backpack in Concord Purple and I do indeed still have it. As a matter of fact, the other day we had a rainstorm here like it was a monsoon and um, Pri the day prior to that, my husband had said, hey, did you mean to leave that back door or back window open on the truck? And I was like, no, I didn't. And then we got busy, completely forgot about it. We had the monsoon. I went outside afterwards to let the dogs out and noticed that the window was still open. And I was like mortified because I knew that I had left my backpack in there. And um, indeed, here she is. So I took the backpack out, um, just terrified, thinking that everything inside, my planner, um, a book that I'm reading, my notes and everything, uh, had just been destroyed and come to find out they were perfectly safe. As a matter of fact, barely anything on the inside got wet. So I unpacked everything and um, put the Via Tote into the uh, dryer to dry it off and then I thought before I put everything back I might as well go ahead and do a video about it. So yes, here she is. Um, this is my Lug Via Tote convertible backpack and it is now, what is today? The 27th I think of April 2022. So this backpack is two years old and she is in perfect condition. I mean, just the most durable and long-lasting bag that I have ever had. I will be so sad if this thing ever wears out. Um, now, before I go on raving about it, I do want to tell you that the only place that I have been able to find this backpack is um, possibly on Amazon and on eBay, um, maybe on a couple of other resale sites, uh, this is no longer available um, on the Lug Life website. So I did go through and do some research uh, because I indeed would like to have another one of these, um, but the only ones that I could find were gray or um, a pattern that I just really didn't like. So if I don't like the pattern, I know I'm not gonna use it. Um, but the Lug Via 2 tote is almost the same as this, except this single pocket here is two pockets. Um, but everything else uh, about it seems to be the same. I was able to find a couple of patterns for that on Amazon. And then um, I also was able to find a couple of patterns for those on eBay. Um, on the luglife.com website, what I'm finding is the Cantor 2 convertible tote bag, and it looks to be just a little bit smaller, um, and it doesn't, I don't think that it has the doctor's bag opening um, at the top. It just looks to be a little bit smaller, um, but everything else looks about the same. It still has the backpack straps, 
It still has the tote strap that you can take off. It still has the carrying handle. Um, so I'll link all of those things in the description box below. And if I can remember to do so while I'm editing, I will try and get some pictures so that um, and insert them up here so that you guys can kind of see what they look like. All right. So, um, sorry if I seem like I'm out of breath. I just had to stop the video. We are currently um, dog sitting my parents' puppy, who is the brother to our new puppy, Mina. So, they got really quiet, and with puppies, just like with toddlers, if they're quiet, usually something is not okay. So, I just had to put them outside in case they needed to use the restroom or anything. So, what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and zoom and um, show you a close up of the um, lug via and then we're gonna go ahead and just pack it together so let me see how close I can get in here from where I'm at oh there we go that's pretty close okay so um, the backpack is a little over a foot um, long so I'll just do an all over view here now, um, it does have the clip attachments here um, for the tote bag, but I've not been using it as a tote. I've been using it as a backpack or just as a carry-all um, because that worked out best for me because it frees up my hands. Um, and when you open it, the opening has like a doctor's bag opening at the top. And one of the things I love about Lug is that the inside of their bags is generally a lighter color so that you it's not just like the depths of <laughs> um, the ocean and it's just dark you can really see what's down in the bottom so in addition to having this rather large cavern it does have a solid um, bottom flap in the bottom to keep um, help it keep its shape there is a zipper pocket here there is an expandable pocket here that has the felt on the inside, so it's nice and soft. If you put a tablet in there, it's not gonna scratch anything. Um, there is a key holder that is detachable with a claw clip. Mm -hmm. And then there is a small, I'll flip it over. On the opposite side, there's a small um, elastic pocket and then pen holding pockets. So, um, and you guys, I've never run this through the washer and I have been using this for two years. So I purchased this, it was a birthday gift in February of 2020. I get my years mixed up. Um, just literally 14 days before our school shut down for C19, okay? So I didn't get to use it the rest of that school year because we were all at home, and then I had the summer, but my school did go back full time in August. So from August of 2020, all the way through that school year, all the way through the summer, and then all the way through this school year, I have used this, and I haven't had to wash it. Like, I might have had to just get a damp cloth and um, just wipe something off, uh, and it got soaked and everything inside was protected. I mean, this bag, and it looks brand new. I mean, it just looks, I am, am so happy with this purchase. Um, so yeah, I've, so on the top of the front bag, there is a phone slot. So you can see my phone, it just goes right in there and it's lined with felt, okay? Um, and then you have a small pocket here that has, I guess you could put ID um, in, IDs in here, but I have a picture of myself and my husband and then our kids. On the front of that, there is another pocket and this is where I generally um, keep my pens. So I have a, an assortment of pens. Um, this is an Erin Condren pen. The rest of these are my favorite pen, which are the um, Papermate Ink Joy Gel pens. Um, I do have another pen that I really like to use, and it is the, um, oh gosh, of course I'm not going to be able to remember it right now. I will remember it, just hold on. 
So anyway, um, I also have a green one. I usually use black and purple. I grade in purple, but there's a random green one in here for whatever reason. So I usually stick all of those pens right in there. And then this is where I keep my school keys. So I have a uh, lanyard and I just stick that in there so it's easy for me to get to. Um, and then I put my phone in here. And then uh, there's another pocket on the front bottom. And you can see that it has the pink lining as well. And that is where I keep this um, just, I don't even know where I got this at. It's just a little bag. And inside here, I have some powder, um, plastic bags. I have a few of the Splendas uh, that I use. I've got two hair ties and a uh, claw clip that I keep in there, chapstick, lipstick. Another thing of chapstick, which this is gonna make one of my favorite things, this is the Honest Beauty. And um, it's the, this one is tinted lip balm, but it's not really tinted. But, oh my gosh, it is so emollient and so moisturizing and I absolutely love it. I'm glad that I discovered that. Got a couple more Splendas in there, um, a few feminine hygiene products in there, a little thing of poopery because you never know, some floss, um, a little powder puff brush, and some cough drops, and then a glasses repair, little screwdriver type thing. So I keep that in that front pocket and it's just in case I need I need or students need or somebody needs something and um, obviously I don't share my chapstick with people especially not now uh, but I never have been a big sharer of those types of things so um, that's just a little carry-all um, that I keep with me and then that just goes right into that front pocket and it fits perfectly okay on the side you have um, two elastic um, pockets and generally I have a water bottle in one of them and then um, hand sanitizer or something like that in the other side um, recently actually I have had a portable um, hard drive that has been in one of those but I'm gonna put that at a different place this time so then on the inside, um, let's go ahead and pack that, see what I have here. Um, I just have a curriculum CD and then a couple of pieces of mail that I actually needed to take out of there. Uh, and then I have a binder that has information for my son's um, travel baseball team. I'm the secretary or the treasurer for that. So that's gonna go inside there. You can see that that just slides right in. That's a full size binder. And then I have a magazine that we got for the plane when we went to Arizona, a book called Level Up Your Teacher Business. And this is from or by uh, Becca Davis. And she is a Teachers Pay Teachers YouTuber. And I find her information really um, great. So I'm in the midst of reading this. Uh, then I have an Erin Condren lined notebook with my brand cover on it. And this is just where I keep um, notes or lists. Um, there's a note in here from my husband, a surprise note that um, I want to keep forever. Uh, so just notes on different videos that I've watched. Right now I do have a list of... Um, all of my Teachers Pay Teachers products. I'm not sure if you guys um, had noticed or not, but I added, I opened a Teachers Pay Teachers shop. I am a teacher, I'm a business teacher. So I teach computers, uh, Microsoft Office products, Google Productivity Suite, um, accounting, uh, graphic design, Photoshop, um, all sorts of different things and um, consumer education which is one of my favorite classes to teach I'm super passionate about that 
And so I decided to, um, since I create most of my own curriculum, that I was going to go ahead and share those things. So I have been creating um, lesson plans on a personal finance so far, and I've been keeping track of that in here. So if you're a fellow teacher and you teach consumer ed, or if you want to expose your um, students to personal finance, go check out my Teachers Pay Teacher Shop. It is called Teachnology, so T-E-A-C-H-N-O-L-O-G-Y, um, and then dash Wolf Ranch Girl. So that way I have an identifier across um, the different platforms that I happen to be using. So this goes in here and goes with me. And then, of course, if you guys have been following me for any amount of time, um, or just perused my channel play with lists at all, you will know that I am an avid uh, planner user and I use the Erin Condren Life Planner in the vertical layout. And this bad boy goes everywhere with me. Um, but I will tell you, um, you'll notice that my month of April is not decorated uh, because once I started the Teachers Pay Teacher Shop, I've really been focusing on that. And then I also decided that once I got to um, spring break, that I just really wanted to focus. I just, I didn't want to focus on anything. I just really wanted to relax. So my husband and I went from um, the 9th to the 13th, we went to Arizona. You can see that I just didn't do anything on that week. And then um, we got back. The next day we got our puppy. And then that following week, that um, the 16th, I woke up with the stomach flu and was sick for four days. It was terrible. So here we are getting ready to be the first week of May. And I have written notes in here, but I haven't um, done any kind of planner decorating. So I will be doing that um, forthcoming. And it is new planner season. Erin Condren just released the um, new planner releases for the 2022-2023 year. And I'm super excited. I already have my order in, so I will go through that when um, it gets here. So that goes in there as well. And I'll show you what it looks like so far. So with all of those things in there, there is still quite a bit of room. So this has quite a bit of room inside it, okay? Um, and I do like how this opens up because I don't have a flap that I have to put back. I mean, it just opens flat and you can literally see everything that is in there. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do um, is <laughs> look at these cords, some other things that I have in here. You guys are gonna think I'm crazy. I have an HDMI cord. So when you're a technology teacher, Anywhere that you go, whether it is um, to a school function or if you're just out in public uh, and people know that you're a technology teacher, if there's any kind of technology that's going on or there's a problem with anything, they are going to come and find you and hope that you can fix it or just expect for you to be able to fix it. Um, and I actually had that happen at a restaurant uh, where another school was giving a presentation and they needed an HDMI cable and they didn't have one. Luckily, I had one in my backpack in my car. So I was able to go out and get that for them and help them out. So I do keep one of these in here because you just never know when you're gonna need it. So that is where um, I'm putting, that is what I'm putting in this elastic pocket that has the felt. I don't have a, I mean, I have a laptop at school, but I don't tend to carry it back and forth with me. Um, so I use that pocket for some other technology type things. Um, I also have this um, Sabrin USB uh, hub. So it has four USBs uh, in it and you can turn them on and off with these little buttons here. And it just is a USB connector. So when I do have uh, my laptop with me, um, it doesn't have a lot of USB ports, so sometimes I need extra ones. So I have that, and that goes in the same pocket. I also have an extra uh, phone charger for my phone. So I just rolled that up, and that actually goes into the zipper pocket because it's for my phone, so I do want to keep it separate. And then I have two external hard drives. Um, this black one is a Seagate. And I have this gray one, 
I think it's a Seagate also, but it doesn't have a label on it. Mm, it is. So this is a Seagate and it is like a brushed um, silver. And then this is the cord that goes with it. And then this is um, a black one and you can see it's kind of a prism. So this is my, uh, they're both mine, but this one is the one that I use for all of my YouTube type content. Um, so any videos or anything like that, once they're processed um, and converted to an actual uploadable video, the thumbnails, uh, all of my files for my channel uh, go on here. And this is going to go inside that felt pocket as well. And then anything that has to do with school or curriculum or anything like that um, goes on to this silver one. And these are both really great. I do believe I got both of them on Amazon, so I will link those um, in the description box below. And that also goes in there. So now let's check it out here. Let's see if I can hold on to this so that it's open. So now I've got um, the binder, the magazine, the book, the notebook and my planner and then I have all of the additional tech stuff in this pocket and I still have room here like I could probably fit another I definitely could fit my teacher planner in here um, which is about the same width as the life planner but it's bigger I could definitely fit that in there and then probably a laptop or a Chromebook and you guys, that is what I put inside um, my Bia tote backpack. So let me show you a couple of things that I really love about this bag and why I never want for it to ever, ever, ever get damaged or not be able to use. I did use this on the trip um, to Arizona. This was my personal item on the plane. So I showed you the front of the bag. So you have the flap where I put my pens, um, and then this is where I put my keys to the school, um, and then here's the phone. So you have this, these nice handles here that do snap together, okay, to make it a handheld tote. You have the two um, carabiner type clips that are on the side, okay. Then if you turn it around, you have the backpack straps which are adjustable and they have this little slider here to keep this, you know, I hate it when that thing just like flops around or gets caught in things. Um, so it's super easy to tighten. I can just tighten it with one hand here. Um, what I also love about this is that these things, your backpack, your shoulder clips come unhooked Okay, and they fold and then you can put them down into this little pocket that goes all the way down. So if you only use one shoulder strap, then you can use just one and you can tuck the other one away. Or if you're deciding you want to use it as a crossbody or as a tote, you can just fold them up like this and tuck them down in there. And honestly, you'd never know that it was a backpack. It just looks like a nice sleek tote. Now you'll notice that there is a zipper on the back here. And that is because there's a cooler section in this bag. Like it's a waterproof cooler thing. So you can put snacks. I've never used this, okay? But it's the neatest thing, like who thinks of this? Like. The creators of this bag, the owners of Lug, they are, they think of everything. So it's got a nice little cooler bag, waterproof, put snacks in there. Um, and then also it has in the middle here, this trolley strap. So if you have um, a rollable, um, piece of luggage, then you can just unvelcro this and slide this right over the top of your rollable luggage. So it just sits there and you don't have to worry about it falling off or flipping, you know, over anything like that. Like I am looking into 
getting one of either the Lug Via 2 or the Canter 2. And um, I'm, I don't want to spend extra money, but now that I'm researching for this video, I'm a little bit concerned that if something does happen um, to this bag, uh, that I'm going to be without a bag that I love to have and that I use all the time. I did purchase a Vera Bradley Harry Potter tote um, and I really like it, but it doesn't close at the top. Um, it just didn't work for me the way that this one did. It does have a lot of um, sections on the inside, but nothing closes. So everything just kind of flopped around. Um, it didn't have any structure. So like this is sitting up by itself. The um, other tote bag did not. So while I like it and I love the pattern and I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, like it wasn't useful for me as much as this one was. Um, I also loved that we were able to use this as a carry-on on the plane um, or as a personal item on the plane. So I just took my um, wallet, which is like a wristlet, and put it inside this and then used this as my purse. And um, this is also awesome because this will be my last year at my current school district. Um, I've worked at the school district for 16 years and I love my school district. Um, but I accepted a position at another school district in our area that my kids actually go to. And um, their colors are purple and yellow. And so this is awesome that this is purple because this is the exact purple um, that is in my new school's colors. So I'm excited about that. I'm sad to be leaving a school that I've loved so much, but excited for new opportunities and new adventures and glad that I get to take my um, Lug Via Tote with me. So anyway, that is what is still in my bag, you guys, or that is what in my is in my bag that I am still using. So if you guys are not lug nuts yet, which are just lovers of the lug brand, I would strongly urge you to go and check out their selection because they have such durable items. They're just great. Um, they do not, this is not sponsored. Lug does not know who I am in any way, shape, or form. But if you want a quality bag that is useful in a, a multitude of different ways, then I would strongly suggest going and checking out um, their bags. If you can find the, these anywhere, please post it in the comments so that <laughs> the rest of us that are looking for things might be able to go um, to those locations and check those things out. Okay, <laughs> so from me and Mina, she looks ginormous in this. She's really not that big. Hi. Yes, hello. Can you say hi? Hi. There you are. Okay, so from me and Mina and Reno, who's down here at my feet, um, thank you guys so much for hanging out and watching the video today and every time that you do I hope that you come back often um, if you like the video <laughs> and you found the information valuable or just entertaining I hope that you would um, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel uh, you guys will come back and see us again <laughs> laters everybody